to document the performance of AMSOIL Interceptor synthetic two-stroke oil in Rotax E-Tech engines. AMSOIL Interceptor was compared to XPS2 synthetic two-cycle oil in extreme dynamometer testing. XPS2 synthetic two-cycle oil was installed in a 2012 Skidoo Renegade X snowmobile equipped with a Rotax E-Tech 800R engine. The snowmobile was run for 50 hours attached to a computer-operated engine dynamometer, sufficient time to replicate an entire riding season. Operating conditions included idle time, partial throttle operation, and full throttle operation. To simulate aggressive riding, the snowmobile was pushed to its maximum RPM repeatedly. Variables, including fuel quality, coolant mix ratio, RPM, and engine load were controlled throughout. Following the test, the engine was disassembled and then reassembled with new BRP authorized parts. The 50-hour procedure was repeated using AMSOIL interceptor. Power Sports expert Len Groom evaluated all engine parts after testing. Ineffective lubrication on pistons can lead to performance loss and engine seizure. So when we look at the XPS piston, you want to take a look at the skirt. On both sides, you look at the intake side of this piston and you're looking for scuffing. This piston shows virtually no sign of any scuffing. Some of the coating has been removed. And then you flip it around and you take a look at the exhaust side of the piston. Again, no signs of any scuffing. Some of the coating has been removed. This, is, this would be considered a normal looking piston. The next thing you do is move to the ring and you take a look at the ring. Is it free? Are there any deposits? This ring is uh, virtually free of deposits. The ring moves very freely. Uh, we see no signs of anything uh, on, the, on the ring land or on either side of the ring. We move to the interceptor lubricated piston and again, same analysis, we look at the intake side of the piston. Again, no sign of any scuffing. Less of the coating has actually been removed off this piston. This is very normal. We flip it around and we take a look at the exhaust side. Same thing, no signs of any scuffing. Some of the coating has been removed, but not a lot. Perfectly normal. Take a look at the ring. It's very free moving. That's the first thing you notice. Are there deposits? Virtually no deposits, again, on the ring land or on either side of the ring itself. Both of these pistons would be considered perfectly usable in the snowmobile. Deposit formation on crowns and undercrowns can lead to abnormal combustion and excessive heat. Our expert provides the evaluation. Looking at the crown of the XPS lubricated piston, you're looking specifically for depositing. Depositing can have the effect of detonation, pre-ignition, something called abnormal combustion. So you want depositing to a very, very minimum. This piston, as you can see, very, sm very small signs of any type of depositing. When we look at the undercrown of this piston, you can see some signs of depositing. There's a little bit of staining in there. When we take a look at the interceptor lubricated piston, we look specifically at the crown, very little depositing, uh, very little uh, chance of uh, detonation or pre-ignition. We flip it around and we look at the undercrown of this piston, and you can see that the interceptor piston actually does look better. There's less depositing, and when you put them side by side, even though both of these pistons are very usable, the interceptor piston does look better. The wrist pins provide the link between the piston and connecting rod. Landgroom examines this other critical area. Wrist pins are a high stress area in this engine, and lubrication is critical. Here's the XPS. Here's the interceptor. As you can see, both were lubricated effectively. Cylinders and cylinder heads is another area where deposit control is essential. Taking a look at the XPS lubricated cylinder head, we're looking specifically for any type of deposits. Deposits in a, in a cylinder head can cause any type of uh, performance loss, detonation, pre-ignition. So you look very closely for depositing. As you can see, there are very minimal deposits on this one, um, and it looks, it looks pretty decent. We take a look at the interceptor lubricated cylinder head. Again, we're looking specifically for any type of depositing that could cause abnormal combustion or performance loss. This one, again, very minimal deposits. When you put the cylinder head side by side, as you can see, they're both suitable for use, but visually there is a difference. 
the XPS lubricated cylinders and intake ports are clean. As you can see, there's no depositing, there's no staining in the intake ports, and 99% of the crosshatch in the cylinder is still intact. When we look at the interceptor lubricated cylinders and intake ports, once again, the intake port is clean, there's no sign of any depositing, there's no staining, and 99% of the crosshatch is left intact. Both of these cylinders would be considered in excellent condition. If we had to pick out any visual differences, the XPS lubricated cylinder has some staining around the very top, whereas you don't see that in the interceptor lubricated cylinder. When we're looking at exhaust ports, we look for deposits, we look for blockage, and we look for staining. In the XPS lubricated cylinder, as you can see, there's a very small amount of blockage, there's a very minimal amount of depositing, and there is some staining. When we look at the interceptor lubricated cylinder, as you can see, there's very minimal amount of blockage. Uh, there's, very, there's a very small amount of depositing, and there's virtually no staining at all. And once again, when you put them side by side, visually, you can see there's a difference. Sticking exhaust power valves continue to be a problem in today's snowmobile engines. A properly formulated lubricant is vital in power valve performance. Exhaust power valves are important to engine performance. They're also very active. In this case, this is a four-part exhaust valve. This is the exhaust valve lubricated by interceptor. This is the exhaust valve lubricated by XPS. And as you can see, both of them display excellent qualities. There's no large amount of deposits. There's no large amount of staining. These are both uh, adequate for use. 50 hours of extreme engine testing confirms the results experienced by AMSOIL customers and achieved in real-world field trials and industry-accepted laboratory tests. AMSOIL Interceptor Synthetic Two-Stroke Oil provides exceptional performance and protection in the most demanding two-stroke power sports applications, including the Rotax ETEC 800R engine.